Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. Oh my god, do we have a good one for you right here? Listen, this sub is crazy, all right. This video is a tutorial, everything you need to know about the sub, the Kosatka submarine, all right. Uh price, drivability, yes, drivability, the weapons, all the features in there. I buy everything, we test everything. It's pretty insane, all right? Go ahead, smash a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll have plenty of more videos coming out later today and all throughout the week. A lot of new vehicles, new weapons, everything. Sorry I could not broadcast. A hacker kept DDoSing me on my live stream. So somebody paid him off to do that. That's just the way it goes, man. It's just, yeah, whatever. It's, it's what you get for being the 35th best uh, GTA YouTuber out there. Anyways, though, so base price is $2,200,000. You can change your color for 75 grand. You can add a sonar station for 1.2 million. You can add guided missiles for 1,900,000, which is pretty dope. You can also add a weapon workshop. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Everything else has got a weapon workshop in there. You might as well. All right, you got a bed in there too and some other stuff. So uh, the weapon workshop is $350,000. You can also add moon pool vehicles. You can add a sparrow helicopter which we'll test here in just a moment and you can also add the kraken avisa so a new version of the kraken i guess a mark ii right one of my subscribers was talking about that on the live stream that we had for like five minutes uh before i got ddosed by some kind of slime scum anyways i digress but yeah you can add those two vehicles for three million three hundred sixty thousand totaling out the Kasatka will cost you $9,085,000. And yes, it is a paywall to doing the heist if you want to do them by yourself. So $2.2 million will get you involved and get you set up in the heist. That is the paywall there. It is what it is. We've always had paywalls for almost everything in the game. So nothing new with that, right? All right, so once you buy it, your ship consigliere, Pavel, will call you up. Uh, I'll let you guys enjoy that conversation a little bit later on. Uh, so I don't want you to miss out on that. But yeah, it just tells you what to do. The VIP CEO MC just registers that and you can start your heist. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty standard. No big deal. Let's check out going to the sub. This is pretty sick right here. As you go out to your sub, it ascends from the depth. That is pretty dope, dude. I like that. I like that a lot. So just find a place to park your Mark II or your boat that you get out there with, whatever. I, I mean, yeah, so there's a couple of spots you can go to. I mean, this thing is huge, right? Go to the, either the, the, the bow or the stern of the submarine to get in. It's real simple, right arrow key. And then you come in and then you have a talk with Pavel. Again, I'll let you guys, you know, enjoy that. So once you're in here, you'll talk with Pavel. He'll go over a few things with you. You guys will talk about the heist in general, you know, this or that, the other, a few of the features, you know, some backstory on him, his resume, what all he does, a little bit about your crew, you know, of course, you have to pay out just like on the casino heists. I'll let you guys enjoy that though. Let's test out some of the, uh, the upgrades and the features that we purchase here. First of all, this is your, I guess you could say your navigation system right here. This is where you can drive. You can fast travel the sub. Yeah, I said drive. You can drive the sub. Here are the controls. Press circle to fire torpedoes. Hold square to ascend or go up. Hold X to descend or go down. Hit your R3 button to toggle the sonar and, of course, triangle to exit. I mean, come on. This is crazy. As you see right there, you can lock on to other vehicles and you can even take down other players' submarines. Yes, you can have submarine battles in gta online okay so as you count right here it looks like it takes roughly 12 missiles to destroy another player's submarine which is pretty insane this looks like this dlc is basically several dlcs together we got the submarine that you know everybody was talking about with the naval dlc with which was part of smugglers run i mean I did not think we'd be able to drive this. I did think we'd have a fast travel option like we did with the yacht. But this right here was pretty insane. The price point, I was pretty much on point with uh, on predicting that. 
in between uh, I said between five and ten million. So two point two million got you in the door, and almost up to ten million for full upgrades on it. So, but I mean, that's crazy. Look at that. That's insane. Not only can you target other players' submarines, you can target other players and their vehicles. This guy came up on his deluxe. So again, anybody that I killed in here, I did it just purely to test. I'm very, very sorry. I apologize. Anybody who I murked out, my bad. You, that you, that's not me. But you know, I had to test a few things out. I'm so sorry. You know, I get killed all the time, so don't worry about it. It's all good. But yeah, so driving the submarine around, it's pretty quick. It's not you know the fastest thing out there, but it can get around, and that's pretty insane. And you can also lock on to other players while you're navigating the submarine. So that's pretty cool. Um, nothing wrong with that at all. Again, not the fastest vehicle out there. You see this guy's little speedo boat catches up to me pretty quick. But you could simply just go underwater and you'd be fine. And we'll see that here in just a moment. So as you see, you can descend a little alarm, you know, a little horn, siren sounds or whatever, and you're underwater. You can fire your torpedoes underwater. It's, you know, it's just crazy. It's really cool. It's really fun. I'm digging the submarine part of this DLC a lot, which is nice. So you can look around a little bit. You can change your view. There goes some of the torpedoes right there, which is pretty cool. I like that. Nothing wrong with that at all. You got the sonar kicking. As you see on the radar, there's like caches that you can pick up, which we'll talk more about that later. Here's the fast travel locations right here. $10,000 to fast travel. Let's check out the missiles. These are the guided missiles right here. You've got two missile stations. There is a one-minute cooldown per missile, so you can go back and forth and pretty much just shoot these things all day. They fly pretty slow, so pretty easy to maneuver and navigate, and the range is incredible. I mean, you can go pretty deep inland with this. Um, you know, depending on where you park your submarine, you have a pretty good range with these missiles right here. As you see right there, you just pretty much aim and you're good to go. All right, it's not bad. We'll get back to the other one in just a minute here. The periscope location, you can just kind of look around. So you can lock on again. So you could have players locking on with your periscope and players shooting your guided missiles. You know, it's pretty intense. You have a lot of firepower with this bad boy. But yes, it can be destroyed, okay? So the periscope goes up. Let's check out. I have a cooldown timer on this guy. It's reloading. You can just get up and then you can just shoot the next missile. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you kind of how I fly around with this bad boy. All right, so we launch the missile. Check out how far we can go around. I speed this up. We go all the way down the coast, out here by the docks. I mean, that's insane. We go back up around over here to the Diamond Casino, and that's where I blow this thing up is right back on the Diamond. I mean, so you got a lot of range on this. You can go pretty far. That's going to be, you know, quite devastating. You know what I mean? The new orb cannon probably, right? I mean, boom, there you go. And you can just fire these missiles back and forth over and over. So that could be a definite griefer tactic and troll uh, weapon right there so the little mini sub you find it in the bottom of the submarine you can just launch it out this is the avisa or the kraken avisa or whatever it's called pretty cool pretty dope little design i like that it looks something like a james cameron kind of thing and if you want to get back into the submarine just go underwater or kind of navigate close to it and it will give you the option to hit the right arrow key and you're back in the sub pretty easy pretty simple no problem right all right, get back in there. Comes up to the moon pool. Pretty nice. There's also a slot for another submersible vehicle that I don't think we have yet. That little slot right back there will hold another one. It actually gives you the name of it. I forgot what it is right now, but you can definitely check that out. I'll leave that up to you. It's pretty cool. So, oh, we're going to go back there and no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> psych. So here is the Sparrow right here. The Sparrow is pretty dope. Um, you can actually modify this. You can add either a minigun or some rockets, which we'll test here in just a minute. Minigun is going to cost you 195000 The rockets will be 240000 So kind of tipping up the, the price a little bit for the sub if you want to maximize everything and get everything all, you know, taken care of. Uh, you can paint it for 7500 bucks, whatever, no problem. And then just simply, you know, fly on out of there. It's got a cool little animation right there for you. And then you lift up outside to the top of the submarine. Now, from what I can test here, the speed is pretty good. The agility is very good. The rockets are fast firing. There's no cooldown time like the buzzard. 
but I would say that they are roughly the same in regard to tracking as the buzzard. So this was this will not replace the Mark II in regard to a money grind vehicle, right? The missiles track pretty much the same way as they do on the buzzard, which is okay. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You can still score some kills on NPCs. Uh, I take out this guy in the boat right here. You know, you can still get some player scores if they're going slow enough or whatever. Again, I apologize. Just testing it out, man. Uh, if you want to get back onto the sub, right arrow key over the back of the submarine, and it launches you back in there. Really cool. Uh, the only negative I see to this is the the uh, the guided missiles. That's really it. That will definitely be used as a grief weapon. The people will be griefing you with those missiles. So that's really the only negative. But yeah, there you have it. That's everything you need to know about the submarine, the price, the features, the functions, everything. It's really, really cool. Uh, you'll be spending over $9 million to get everything, uh, $2.2 million to get you into the heist. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills or Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smoke smash that like button. See you in the next one. All right, peace out. Yeah.